My name is SWB, and I'm a Kowalski guy. Uh, just out of high school, man, it was 1998. Kowalski had a school in Malden, Massachusetts. Once we started training, man, it was fast track from there. After like two, three to four years in New England, I decided that it was time to branch out. From there, people saw me in those territories, and that's when opportunities overseas came. So my first opportunity overseas was uh, All-Star Wrestling in, in the UK. And then from there, it was uh, IWA in Puerto Rico. And at the time, that's where all the WWE guys that weren't on TV yet was in IWA. So then from there, I got an opportunity to go to Japan. And that was great, because Japan was always one of my top goals. And you know, now we're here, right? I call myself the underground king because a lot of the things, the blueprint that you see today, that guys do today, I started that <laughs> Merchandise, traveling, promoting yourself, just being, putting yourself out there. I started that and now it's, it's that's what everyone does. <laughs> that's cute, Slick. I appreciate you taking the time to bore everyone with your story. Let me entice you with a better story. The story of the best professional wrestler to ever come out of New England. I was written off day one. They told me I would never be successful. Now I've gone on for 10 years and I've saved this area. I took the ball and I ran further than anybody has ever run from this area, ever. I've tapped out, I've knocked out, and I've beat the best to ever step in the ring. Like for the first time, you're gonna be 18 feet away from an absolute savage in this ring. And I don't think you're prepared for what happens when that bell tolls. All right, so JT Dunn, you know, this is a cocky, young, arrogant SOB. I was the guy, right? But obviously you got the talent and you got the person, right? The talent, the person. I don't know if you can separate the two, but the talent and the person. The talent was doing everything that you, JT, want to do. The person was young, dumb, made mistakes. You made some mistakes, and you got into trouble. <laughs> and that trouble is why you're stuck here in New England, and I'm an international sensation. I'm not afraid to admit that I made mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes. My mistakes in the past does not define who I am. You see, JT, I could have rolled over and quit. I picked myself up and I kept moving forward because that is what champions do. Champions rise up. JT, you want to be king? You want to be champion? Let's see if you can rise up. When that bell tolls, you're gonna watch your entire career go up in flames. You're gonna watch somebody 10 years your youth smack you around like you've never been smacked. You're gonna watch a man rip your legacy apart in front of your friends and family. I'm gonna embarrass you in front of your students. All the people that go to you every week for knowledge, I'm gonna show them that everything you've taught them is wrong. Why? Because you're Slick Wagner Brown, and I'm pro wrestling savior, the JT Dunn. March 2nd, All-Star Stampede. SWB versus JT Dunn. JT, you're looking at a champion. I'm a champion. I'm a fighter. I'm a trainer. And most importantly, I'm a father. JT, you want to be the underground king? You want to be me? You want to be champion? Then rise up. I'm standing right here, JT. Right now, you step to me. Rise up. Let's go. Here for the juice, JT Dunn. JT Dunn, as good as it gets. And JT Dunn out here 
with Bullet and Christian Casanova. And Bullet is holding the XWA Heavyweight Championship and the Chaotic Heavyweight Championship. You know what I like Christian Casanova, he ran his mouth. He ran his mouth about Frilly Dilly earlier tonight. What was that about? I don't know. JT Dunn has faced a who's who of New England wrestling in recent years. Whether it be a chaotic, XWA, Beyond Wrestling, NEW, the guy has represented New England extremely well. There's no doubt about that. He's been in the ring with everybody. And now here's the man who's been there and done it all and wants to do a little bit more in Slick Wagner Brown. Nothing but respect for Slick, but tonight, he's got to beat the hottest wrestler in the world. Swag, man. He's got a lot of got a lot of charisma. I can understand why the people like him. And he's a hell of a talent. There's no doubt about it. 
But come on, JT's ready to fight that guy and knock his two teeth out, looking like corn on the cob every time he smiles. JT's class, he's not like these people, he's a trash from Randolph. Well, is this a good strategy from JT Town? It seems like he's exerting a lot of energy before the match is even started. I think it's a nice little warm-up to knock out some jabroni in the front row before you get in there and get a face up. An alpha male like Slick Wagner. Beat up a fan. Although it is like 2019, he'd probably go to prison if he called him fat. And they are fat. I mean, he's going right after the type 2 diabetic crowd over there. Oh, come on, be nice. Well, I mean, look at him, for God's sake. Well, Slick Wagner Brown, tired of waiting, tries the clothesline, and again, Too JT smart. Dunn, Too smart. more focused on the fans than he is his opponent. Maybe it's mind games, maybe it's his own mind getting the better of him here to start things out. But either way, Slick Wacker Brown has to be very trusted. That kid is about eight eight years away from Walpole State Prison, so JT better be quick. I'm sorry, but I mean, just look at the kid for God's sake. JT is all class. He's the class of the Northeast. Don't give it to these people. They don't deserve it. JT Dunn, caught under the collar to say the least, here at this audience who is giving it back to him tenfold. And Slick Wagner Brown just laughing. People are on their feet. They're ready for this match to get going. This is going to be a hell of a match between two champions. Big fight atmosphere between these two, both reigning champions. In yes. their perspective promotion, and JT Dunn just can't let it go. He's a Mike Canellis. <laughs> Reminds me of take your time, make them sweat. You're the champion. This is your pace. This is your tempo. You control that ring. You want to take a ten, a nine count. You take a nine count. You make them sweat. Make them make a mistake. JT Dunn, not exactly looking like a fighting champion right now. And Slick Wagner Brown practically begging JT to get in the ring at this point. So am I. Is he going to walk yep. out? Yep. Payoff isn't good enough. And Slick Wagner Brown coming right after him. Oh. I don't know. There we go. And Slick Wagner Brown taking business into his own hands. And now we have a fight. Ooh. That was a nice back elbow by Slick. Again, you look at Slick, zero wasted motion. Absolutely. We talked about that earlier with Brandon Locke and Mike McCarthy, Slick Wagner Brown. Ooh. They waste even less. Going after that arm early, that elbow. And if he can neutralize the elbow of JT John, you know that takes away a big chunk of his offense. Well, I mean, if he hits that elbow, he's beating anybody on the planet with that. So definitely a smart game plan for Slick. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Here early. If you want to get back into a contest, nothing like a boot to the gut. Uh, even the size difference, if you hit a guy in the solar flexes, that'll neutralize him in a hurry. I don't think he wants to get in a fist fight with Slick, though. Absolutely not. JT Dunn, standing headlock here, as he's trying to figure out a way to gain the advantage over Slick Wagner Brown here in this champion versus champion contest at all Star State. Beautiful reversal. Nicely done. Talk nice missed it in the headlock, took him over. That was nice wrestling. Talk about the snap of that move right there. How important that is. I mean, and not only that, he's going to try to wrench his head up, try to get a cover here. Kind of reminded me of like Nick Brockman back in the day. You snap it down, you get a nice torque. People don't understand how hard that bat is. That'll take the life right out of you. Knocking over from Slick. Big dive oh, wow. to the floor, taking JT and Christian out. You know, and that ain't a 170 pound guy. That's a 240 pound athlete that just crushed, crushed an entire posse and planted them. And Brown making an emphatic statement here early. Oh. Enza Gary right to the mush. 
But hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smart wrestling. Side. Smart wrestling. Oh, he hit him with the floor. And there's that elbow. Hits it early. That's it, that's it, that's it. Put the boots to him, guys. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Referee, yeah. Rich Bass yeah. Is Beautiful. Get a hold of yourself here. Beautiful right. technical wrestling. Technical wrestling. That was beautiful. I didn't see a wrist lock there. That was true. I saw it earlier. That's that is just Casanova and Great Bullet. game planning. The game planning and the execution operating at a high level. And if I had a question as to why Christian Casanova is out here, it was just answered. He wants to sell his merchandise later. JT Dunn doesn't need this. He's a fantastic athlete, an unbelievable competitor, but he doesn't need it. But it's nice to have him. Says you as JT Dunn in control here. Going right to the stairs. We know how dangerous that is. You know how dangerous that is. We've already seen it play here at night. As JT Dunn now touting, uh, excuse me, taunting this Randolph crowd. We'd be better served staying on Slick. He's got the big man hurt. Oh, yes. Taking his time. You wrestle your pace. You're in control of this match now. JT Dunn showing why he is successful anywhere he goes, despite the fact that I may not agree with his tactics, but Wagner Brown reverses, and it looks like those tactics coming back to bite him here. You know something? This is a big time matchup between champions. These guys are gonna let it all hang out. Slick Wagner Brown taking a drink there. As JT Dunn. Back in the ring now. Now JT done reeling a little bit. Oh, but he wow. hits a clothesline to buy some time. And you you got to give him credit. JT not the biggest guy, but the two of that clothesline almost took six. Oh, oh, oh boy. Fix. No. That's a veteran maneuver. Beautiful drop kick by JT. That's why he's the best around right there. Both boots connecting straight to the chin of Slick Wagner Brown and maybe. If he wasn't so concerned with taunting, he could have had a cover. You know what? He's just setting him up for that elbow. He likes where he's at this match. He likes the pace and he likes the tempo. I, I like his game plan right now. Wear him down. And now he's going to go back and wear Slick Wagner Brown down, knowing that he doesn't have him quite done yet. He needs to continue to scrape and grind away here in front of this sellout crowd in Randolph, Massachusetts. All-Star Stampede, New England All-Star Wrestling, Paul Crockett alongside the one-man play by Jimmy Preston. And this is just a great strategy. Once again, JT, the bigger opponent, you got to wear him down. The longer this thing goes, it goes in JT's favor. Wear him down and leave him more susceptible for that elbow. But Slick's not going to be beat by a headlock. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely not. Around back to his feet. Oh, that is low. Can we get a DQ there? Spin kick. Oh, big come on, Cutter. Cutter. He's got him. Makes He's got the him. cover. Oh, that was a beautiful cover. Beautiful cutter into the cover by JT. Just not enough. That patented somersault into the cutter from JT Dunn. He thought he had it all finished but he only got a two count, and he is beside himself. Well, you know, he's got to think he's got him close to beat, because that's one of the things he does to set up for that big elbow. For him to break that out at this point in the match, he's got to be feeling pretty good about where he's at. He is in control right now, and there, again, stealing from the throw ride playbook. Jesse the body Ventura move right there. Now he needs to take the tape off. And there's Casanova again yes, at yes. ringside. Oh, this is just brilliant. While the referee's attention is turned away. I would like to see a nice punch to the jaw there. Of course, whip into the corner. Ooh. Wagner fights out of it. Oh, he might have hit the ring post. He's out of the way. Big clothesline. No wasted movement here. From Wagner Brown, ducks under. Oh. Nice neck breaker. Gorgeous neck breaker there with the roll through. And now Slick's feeling pretty good. He should stay on it and stuff. Try to get these, these smelly fans. We leave them alone. 
Wagner Brown in with the forearm. Here's about these people. For God's sake, whip reversed up and over like a cat. Another Inzaghiri. Slick can still move. Holy flip. Oh, 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 oh. Larry and JT Dunn inside out it's cover. Oh, come on. Beautiful. Great ring presence. Christian Casanova pulling right I don't think fast. he did. I don't think he did. What do you I mean you don't I think, think he, he went did. for it, but I think JT knew where he was. Oh! Casanova eats the leg lariat. He is down, and he might be out. Now JT. Oh, yes, he's got, got, yes. He's got the belt. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh that's it, come baby. On. That's it. Get rid of the evidence. Get rid of it. He's got him. He's got him. Can't have my two. Oh! oh Can you God. believe that? He needed to hit him harder. Well, he got all of it from where I'm standing, and yet still, Slick Wagner Brown is in this. Referee out of position. Smoke count. JT had the man beat fair and square. He was right, right there. there. He was in the proper position. Got to give Slick credit for having the presence after hitting his belt one with the belt. Oh, yeah, and now, here's the Jesse the body. JT Dunn removing that wrist tape. No Take elbow out. pads left. He's going to go for that elbow. Here it is. Here it is. He's calling for it. We've seen this so many times through a ride. Here it is. Rise the death by elbow. He ducks. Takes his legs oh, out. No, oh, no. Oh, he's got him. No. Oh, three counts. Slick Wagner oh, Brown gets the win. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. And oh. despite all the odds, thrill ride, Casanova at ringside. Slick Wagner Brown prevails. KT Dunn's got to be sick to his stomach as if he smelt one of these people from Randolph. He has been training for this match. He poured his heart out. He drills him in the head with the belt. He had a beat referee out of position. And then Slick just showing what kind of a veteran. Great ring presence. Unbelievable reversal into the cover. Hell of a matchup. And JT's got to be sick. JT Dunn coming up short in this champion versus champion contest. Slick Wagner Brown overcoming the odds here tonight in Randolph, and this crowd is loving it. Both, both men deserve some credit. That was a hell of a match. The last two matches have been outstanding. We still got the Rumble. We still have the Rumble. We still have a few more matches left before the end of the night. I cannot believe how amazing of a night we've had here so far at All-Star Stampede. KT's sick to his stomach. We'll take some roll aids or some X-Lax or something for a ride because we have a long way to go.